in the center of the script in the anthropophic hair writing a form military man with a dark past and unwillingness to return to it. Actually, he has no going to do this, but circumstances forced him. After the severance of the evil organization that established a dictatorship in the city of Torch, where Wrighton lives, kidnap his friend, the hero had to retuck a huge mechanic fist to himself and get on the trail war. Such a simple plot in the course of development of the plot is overgrown with the new events. The protagonist reveals his character and turns out to be a multi-faced personality. And the minor characters do not look empty. It is fun to follow right on adventures, a rare praise for a platformer. But the scenario in the fist forged in the shadow torch is fun and I didn't want to skip the cutscenes to get to the gameplay as soon as possible. Listening to the lines of entirely gloomy Riton is a pleasure. The title is also in a perfect order with the gameplay. Before us, in reference met the Triviania, where we study huge braces locations, using the entire arsenal of techniques and acrobatic tricks, and having received new abilities, we return to the levels already visited, because now we can destroy a locked door, jump to the previous untainable high, or open a shortcut that allows you to quickly overcome a large piece of the map. The core mechanics of this genre are built around research. Yet unlike open world games, adventure platformer locations tend to be many interconnected rooms, and any change in the environment that is too drastic can make players feel uncomfortable. This destroys the integrity of the game. We knew about this and understood that we would have to make a lot of efforts to make the feast seem playable and it is these tricks differ significantly from each other but at the same time they all remain part of the same large mosaic as adventure progress the design of the background and level smoothly changes with the subtitle and subtle tricks making everything seem natural and the lack of loading screens between locations makes torch city even more compelling said yang hyang business development of manager at t games here, you can complain that the developers have not brought anything new to the genre. However, I don't want to. Platforming in Feast Forged in Shadow Torch is pleasant, the map is easy to read, and the location's views are breathtaking. Admiring the combination of diesel punk, noir, and Chinese architecture of the early 20th century, of course. At the times, the game loves to throw the hero into faceless factories and sell us with the bare walls, but once you see neon signs on the building and steam trams on the streets of the Torch City, you will fall in love with this visual design. As in the other games of this genre, in the T-Games adventure the protagonist will not only have to fight the enemies, but also explore very branchy levels in the search of the secrets. According to the genre tradition, you will not be able to immediately get into all the locations of the Torch City. To access some levels, you will first need to find new gadgets and abilities. Despite the fact that the city from Forging Shadow Torch can be clearly divided into levels, there are no downloads when moving between the locations. In fact, this is an open world, albeit not completely available for the starting at the very beginning. New areas for Rayton will open up as you progress, and then you will have to return to them to find even more secrets and resources to improve abilities. Rayton weapons look unusual, but they work effectively. A mechanical Fist disturbs hooks and uppercuts, know how to grab opponents and throw them into walls and each other. The combat system is diversified by jump and dodges, and with the pumping the hero opens up new techniques. In addition, in the course of the plot, he receives new types of weapons, a huge drill and electric whip. You can switch between them at any time, which gives a good addition to the richness of combat attacks. Each weapon has its own unique traits and combo sequences. The fist are versatile fighting tool. With its help, it's easiest to fill a combo. 
The disadvantage of the drill is a heavy weight, but it doesn't do most damage to the enemies. But the whip, on the contrary, is not so powerful, but its attacks are lightning fast and allow you to reach enemy at the distance. Whatever you like the best, you have to master all of three weapons if you want to survive in this dangerous city, explained Yang Hyang, business developer and manager at the TEI Games. For every each type of weapon, the Forge in Shadow Torch, developers have come up with a variety of the combo attacks, which it becomes a little easy to win the difficult battles. With a fist, for example, you can nail the enemy to the ground or controversially throw him into the air, jump up and deliver several strong and weak blows while he falls. The drill is convenient for making combined area attacks that is especially convenient if the opponents have surrounded Raiden. And with a whip, you can reach enemies that for one reason or another the hero cannot reach. Combination should be opened by pumping the character for an in-game resource, which can be found in Dark Olis of the City of the Torches. It will not work to get all the combination at once, you need to choose what is more important for the hero at one stage or another of the passage. Enemies also do not let you get bored, they attack in groups, gradually acquire new abilities, facing the boss can be serious challenge. For the player, boss fights here are quite hardcore and even trying to get ready for the difficulties. I can only criticize the game for not the most convenient teleportation system. There are very few of them here, so sometimes you have to go a long, long way. Especially you lose a lot of time when clearing the locations. You have to go through all the sorts of test rooms which lasers or electrified platforms for a second time. Fortunately, in many cases the developers did not fork to add shortcuts. You just need to find them there. There are a lot of doors that open only from one side, but still, a few extra teleporters would be nice. Fist Forging Shadow Torch is a successful metrodemia that plays well and looks great. There is no need to expect anything special from here. This is just a high quality game made by people who clearly understand something in the genre and probably drew inspiration from the successful releases of their western colleagues. Recommended. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to comment and subscribe, leave your comments, I will be leaving all the links in the description. So have a good one, peace! And don't forget to press on that bell.